All right, watch till the end of the video and learn how to win a, or enter to win a custom uh, USGS survey marker. We make these uh, custom. You can put a mountain that you climbed, uh, the name. We'll put in the coordinates and everything, the elevation. You can put your company name, uh, logo, and we'll, um, you know, get the uh, coordinates and everything. But uh, watch till the end of the video and for all the rules and regulations on how to win one of these and uh, when the contest ends. So we're going to talk about stationing. We have a couple new hires and I don't um seems like a lot of people, not, not just new hires for surveying, but uh, the people that have to read our stakes. If they're not accustomed to reading survey stakes, they don't, I, I don't think they realize um, how easy stationing is and how much it can help them. So the best way that I explain it to any, any of our new hires or even others that are like, a, like a curb crew is that stationing is just another way to write down linear feet. So we'll always have a begin station. Most of the time, not all the time, most of the time, we start with zero plus zero, zero. And zero just means zero, just means the begin. Uh, sometimes you'll see maps where they start everything with um, uh, 10 plus zero, zero, or what have you. Many times stationing is used on maps or um, on like um, uh, sewer plans and uh, storm drain plans and such. Other times we will assume a um, starting point and call it zero plus zero, zero just for our own stationing. And I believe why it's used on, on plans is that there are so many numbers on that on that plan, you know, be it a building dimension or a, or an angle or you know just anything that it kind of sets it aside um, to show linear 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 length. So instead of like on a let's let's say this was curb and the and the and the curb started here and it had an angle point came down had an angle point and it and it ended. Let's say this was a parking lot or something like that. On the plan, they may not say 140 feet length from start to angle point, but they may say zero plus zero, zero for the begin. And then this angle point is one plus 40. And, and that tells the linear feet. Even if this was one plus zero, zero, this would make this angle point over here two plus 40. And that's because the way we write 140, 140 feet, let's say it's 140 feet from here to the angle point, 140 feet in stationing would be just 1 plus 40. That's it. All you're doing is you're putting a plus between the hundreds of feet and the tens of feet. We don't usually use a decimal if, if, if there are no, um, if there's not a, um, a uh, you know, tenths or, or, or hundreds following it. So if we just walk through this example, if our begin station was zero plus zero, zero, and this distance was 140 feet, it'd be one plus 40 at the angle point. Then we would add 110 feet to this station, which would make it two plus 50, because 110 plus 140 is 250 feet. So it just shows you where you are on that line. And let's say in 40 feet that it ended, that would make this station 2 plus 90. So as you're doing your calcs and your grades and stuff, you need to do like every 25 foot station. Maybe there's a grade break in here with the decimal of feet. So let's say there was a grade break at uh, 1 plus 50.43. That just means along this line, so 140 would be here, 150 would be you know, somewhere in here, and um, uh, there. <laughs> um, that's how you'd write out 150.43 feet. It's 1 plus 50, 43. And you're going to start noticing stationing along like K, uh, K rails on freeways and all, all over the place. And, and stationing is not hard. And it also works out great because if, if a bunch of these stakes were to fall down, as long as you have a point where you know where the, where the stationing is, you could just measure over with your pocket tape or whatever pace 
and you can put those lath right back where they where they belong. You know, if you knew one plus forty was the angle point, and you had to find like you know uh, all these lath in between were all jumbled up on the ground, you can you know just backtrack to your most recent station and place them all back in. So let me know what you think. Um, that's just stationing. It's just another way to write out um, linear feet. So on our giveaway, we'll have full descriptions in the, or full rules in the description. <laughs> Sorry. And it's uh, about a $50 value. These are stainless steel, laser engraved. This is what we're uh, giving away. And you can customize this any way you want to with the U.S. Geological Survey benchmark type of um, setup. So be it a mountain, be it a, um, you know, your place of business, you know, we'll get your logo. But we're picking a winner at random. The contest ends August 20th at 11.59 p.m. So August 21st, we'll randomly pick a winner. And um, contestants must live in the U.S. And... Again, all the rules and regulations are in the description. Thank you very much. Survey on.